there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> the city's most humble and lovable characters was Shoeshine Boy. All finished, sir. Thanks, Shoeshine Boy. You're humble and lovable. Bless you, sir. Little did anyone know that whenever there was a call for help... Help! 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 Shoeshine Boy became, in real life... <laughs> underdog. Help! Help! Hark, hark, I hear a scream. Someone in trouble, it would seem. Underdog will help her, though. Hip, 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 <laughs> and there we go. Help! Help! My little boy has been accidentally locked in a bank vault. Say no more. I am not slow. Hip, hip, <laughs> hip, and away we go. Look in the sky. It's a plane. It's a boy. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane or a bird or even frog. It's just little old me, underdog. Aha! Ahead the sign says bank. I'll go in for the child like an armored tank. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Stand aside and with bare hands I'll snap the vault like rubber bands. Wait! You don't... You, you... Where is he? Where is he? Peekaboo, did the child come through? Child, child, what child? You hair-brained Hercules! The little boy wasn't locked in this bank. It's the two-cent savings bank, and that's on the other side of town. Oh, pardon me, then I must flee. Pardon you? What about my bank vault? Sir, I am a hero who never fails. I can't be bothered with such details. Details? Details? Oh, no. One for the money, two for the show. <laughs> hip, 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 and away we go. Excuse me, General, if that's your rank, is this the two-cent savings bank? It's in there. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Underdog, I'm so glad you've come. The boy is locked in the vault. Over there! <laughs> He's gone clear through the building. And the one next door, too. Sometimes I forget my strength, you see. But at least I've set the little boy free. But where is he? Where's the boy? Where is he? What have you done with my child? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Well, what good are you, you crackpot? There's no telling where my child went. I have x-ray eyes that see through brick. To find your son, they'll do the trick. building on fire with those x-rays. Quick, everyone, run for your lives. My child, where's my child? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Stop all your flaming and go right out, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow you out. Hurriedly, Underdog prepared to use his atomic breath to blow out the roaring flames of the fire his x-ray vision had started. The whole 
building away. But at least there's my junior, my little boy. Is there some reward we can give you for this mess, uh, job, underdog? Rewards are not for true heroes. And I am true, the whole world knows. Forget about money, forget about show, just hip, 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 and away we go. Look, in the sky, there's a plane. It's a boy. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me, huh? <laughs> Underdog. And that, dear viewers, completes the foreign news. Now, what about the news in our own fair city? Well, there have been many reports of strange noises just outside of town. Listen, they sound like giant footsteps coming closer and closer. It's been suggested that it might be an invasion from outer space. But of course, we all know that would be silly. It is an invasion. It's huge mechanical monsters, ten stories high. Who could save her from the grip of the monster? Underdog! Underdog! Underdog. At that moment, he was in his everyday disguise as Shoeshine Boy. Underdog! Underdog! That sweet Polly screaming that I hear. I'll save you, Polly. I'm coming. And dashing into a nearby phone booth, he emerged as... Underdog. Help! Help! Put me down, you nasty monster! There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Ouch! That monster's so tough he bent my wrist. I'll have to use my pile driver fist. <laughs> I forgot to remember that she would vibrate. I must get her down. The monster can wait. Thanks, underdog. Flaming locomotive! Mechanical monsters. Excuse me. I am a monster scientist. There is only one way to stop these crazy monsters. Inside their head of each one is a glass tube, which is all they got for a brain. If you could break those glass tubes, they would be nothing but chunk. If there were only some way... To... I can use my voice to make hi-fi sound. It will break the glass for miles around. You know, touch just might work. Oh, try, underdog. Well? It works. The monsters will stop dead in their tracks. Underdog's hi-fi voice stopped all the mechanical monsters, but it also broke windows, street lights, mirrors, and even pickle jars. Hey, you broke my window! You broke put on all those street lamps. Well, what do I do with all these pickles? Ruin everything with that hero. I am a hero who never fails. I can't be bothered with those details. You should be thanking him for stopping those monsters. I am going to reward him with a big kiss. Nope. True heroes are never paid, and I am the truest hero ever made. Look! In the sky! It's a plane! It's a boy! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. Just little old me. Un Underdog.
My camera ray is complete. With this ray, I'll be able to turn any living thing into a picture. <laughs> All right, Mousie. Simon says hold it. It works. Now everybody will have to do what Simon says. I'll conquer the world. <laughs> And so, bright and early the next morning, Simon set out to conquer the world. Yeah, but first, I have to take care of the police. Well, well sir, what can we do for you? I've come to take your picture. My picture? Well, well. Now, uh, just let me put on my hat. Simon says, hold it. Very good likeness. Hey, he turned the chief into a picture. Let's get him, boys. Simon says, hold it. Hey, he turned the whole squad into a picture. I'll get him with this grenade. Simon says, hold it. Now there's only one problem left. Turn underdog into a picture. First, I shall capture Sweet Polly. And then, when underdog comes to rescue her, I'll turn him into a picture and tear it up. <laughs> Simon Bar Sinister? You're coming with me. No, never. Oh, help. Oh, help. Unhand that lady, you foul fiend. Get out of here, you shoeshine boy. Help! 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 Shoeshine didn't dare reveal his true identity in front of Simon and Sweet Polly. But as soon as they were gone, he stepped swiftly into a nearby telephone booth and became... Underdog. Simon has Polly, so I must be quick. My brilliant brain will do the trick. And Underdog's great brain soon came up with an ingenious answer. My plan is clear. I am not slow. Now hip, 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 and away we go. Help! Oh, help! <laughs> now, my proud beauty, I am going to turn you into a picture. Simon says... Underdog. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Simon says, hold it. But Underdog had the answer to the camera ray. Quickly, he held up a mirror, and the rays bounced right back. And turned Simon into a picture. Immediately, Underdog released Sweet Polly. Oh, thank you, Underdog. But what about the chief and the squad and those two with the funny baseball? Underdog's brilliant brain had told him that if he turned the lens of the camera around, it would turn the pictures back into people. Thank you, Underdog. Just one more picture, then we're through. I'll turn the ray upon those two. Now you see, my job is done. I have saved them, every one. My hero. Yes, I am a true hero. So it's hip, 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 and away I go. Look in the sky. It's a plane. It's a bird. It's a frog. A frog. Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. No others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Here comes the Colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. And 
Shan. Sergeant in charge reporting, sir. Bully, bully. Now, saddle up and we'll go after those Indians. Uh, begging the colonel's pardon, but I think... Think, uh... think. You're in the army, Sergeant. You're not supposed to think. Regulation 3X705 expressly forbids it. Now, saddle up. Now, Sergeant, what is it these Indians have been doing? Well, they robbed the army arsenal, said we stole their buffalo, so they were stealing our buffalo guns. Terrible! Then they stole the clothes right off folks' backs, said we stole their buffalo, so they were stealing back the skin. An outrage! I, Colonel Kit Peyote, will put a stop to this. How many of these Indians are there? One thousand? Two? Five thousand? Uh, two. Two thousand, eh? Well, no. No, 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 sir. Just two. T-O-O. -O, two. What? That's preposterous! I was sent all the way out here to capture two Indians. But these ain't just regular Indians, Colonel. Nonsense. Regulation 5236J reads, Indians are Indians. Charge! Charge! We're being attacked! No, it's just them regulation Indians sending us a message that says, uh... Colonel, go home. And at that very moment, those two brave braves, Ruffled Feather and Running Board, were having a powwow about the Colonel. You send a message to Colonel? You hid a message? Oh, you hid him with message. <laughs> Oopie doopie. What him do? Him still coming. Fooey, fooey, got him be stopped. You got him planned? Hey, El Kuman can write some thumb, pow, pow, and we can blame him the pow for that. No good. Heard him our fists on his face. Moon rocket. You make him Colonel Man in Moon. You am genius. The problem for the brave braves was to get the Colonel into the moon rocket. Immediately they began work on the first step of an intricate plan. Detour sign. An obvious Indian trick. Prepare to charge. Well, now, Colonel, I'm not sure we ought to... Enough. The army requires blind obedience. Charge! Well, I'm sure enough blind obedient now, sir. Can't see a thing. Never fear when you're with me, Sergeant. I've already found a handy tunnel. Yes, the tunnel was handy indeed. The other end of it only being finished at that very moment by Ruffled Feather and Running Board. Right, I'm come on, find you, little tour, Rafanich. We bring him rocket up here so Colonel walk in. Rafanich, I'm going to turn right back to Oh, we bring him Colonel down there to moon rocket. How we do that? Look there, Sergeant. Real Indian root beer. Bully. Come, I'll stand you to a drink. Forget our difference in rank. What did he say? Him say back room reserved for army. Wonderful. Come along, Sergeant. We'll just... <laughs> <laughs> they ought to get that first step fixed. It's a mite long. A lucky fall, Sergeant. There is the Indian's teepee. Charge! <laughs> Let me out. It's against regulation 408 to be. No locking bigwigs in wigwam. What did he say? Him say, sure. Africa. 
Well, boy, did I ever tell you about the time I went over the Renshipoke Falls? No, but I... I'd been out in the bush, don't you know, and all of a sudden I heard... the war drums of the savage Ugamuga tribe. And I was left to face a thousand savage savages alone. Yeah. You know, ordinarily, this sort of thing wouldn't bother me. But I had a little trouble with my trusty rifle. What to do, eh? Quick as a flash, I ran. I ran for three days and three nights through jungles, across deserts, over mountains. Suddenly, I came to the brink of a huge waterfall. Just then, the savages broke from the jungle. I dived over the falls and plunging 5,000 feet. I disappeared beneath the surface of the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll wager those savages are still waiting for me uh, to come up. You mean you didn't come back up? No, lad. Uh, I went so deep that it was shorter to go right on through and come out in Australia. Commander, that story is out of this world. Quite.